Hey guys, what's up? It's Ice here with a guide on how to do the old school RuneScape uh, Halloween event 2017. So you're gonna start off at the Lumbridge Graveyard and talk to Grim Reaper, and he will tell you. Uh, he will give you a scroll, and you have to go to six different locations, and he will also teleport you to Varrock because that's where you have to do, uh, where you have to go. I mean. And as you see, if you open the scroll, you see in a wheat field, mining some ore near a fountain, in a ruined building, at an altar, and near some berries. Basically, these are all the locations, and at these locations, you will find these masked strangers. I will, I will put a, a picture of all the locations so you guys can see. So, here's a location near the Champions Guild, the mining uh, area, then the wheat field. Near the other mining area, there are some berries uh, in the Chaos Altar or the altar near uh, Aubrey, and then the fountain, and then close to the bank, the anvil, the broken house where the Maskus strangers are. So all you have to do is spot these, one of the six, I've done that. So all you have to do is get six of these, um, observe six of these Maskus strangers. One is at this fountain. And then you go to the altar. Th this event, or event, how you want to call it, is probably one of the longest I ever done. So I'll probably have to like edit this um, to make it shorter. Because I think it took me 20 minutes on my main. So it's kind of off the long ones. But should be fine. Now, I don't have uh, stamina on this account. So it's kind of stupid, but yeah, it's going to take longer to do that. So all you have to do is just uh, observe these strangers. There's another one. Also, um, mine, 10 ore. The, I don't know why. They, they took the, what's it called? They put that there for some reason. So you need to make a potion later. And it's called a murky potion. And you, your ingredients are tin ore. You have to pick some wheat, wet or wheat as well, or grain, whatever you want to call it. And then you're gonna walk to the mining spot. And basically, I'm gonna tell you right now what to do because I'm out of run energy. I'm not gonna waste your your guys' time. So when you find the last masked stranger, here's some tom berries. You have to pick these you else i did it on my main and i forgot to pick these because i did not know about it so you have to pick these thumbberries because you have to make a potion layer so now i have to go back to lumbridge i'm going to use the the boat whatever and i'll see you guys back in lumbridge okay we are back at lumbridge at grim reaper so after you observed all the three ghosts you have to talk to this guy again blah 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 blah, blah. And he'll basically tell you that you have to go to the apothecary. I don't know how to say it. But you have to go to um, the guy that makes the potions at Farrock. Um, it's basically over here. And basically, all you have to do is make the potion, and you will get a murky potion. And then you have to go to the the chaos altar. You have to use the potion on the altar, and then you will get a spectral potion. And then you have to go to the broken house here, and you have to use the spectral potion on the the mask stranger. You will basically come into a cutscene, and then you will get stabbed by the guy. And um, then you have to go back to Grim Reaper, but I will I will get uh, there eventually. I don't want to get way too ahead ahead because I'm not there yet. But uh, yeah. Took me nearly like 40 minutes because I 
did not know what to do in the beginning. But it's whatever. So now you get the spectral potion. I'll I'll cut out now and go back to the place I have to be because I have to walk there, it's fucking slow, so I'll be back. Okay, I'm at the opposite uh, mask stranger. Now you have to use your spectral potion on the mask stranger and you will go into a cutscene. Now you will see the the face that you've seen before a few days ago that everyone was freaking out about. Why? So now you come back to Grim Reaper. Blah 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 blah. He will be mad at you because you basically that guy we released is um evil ghosts how you want to call it just skip through the dialogue talk about Jarvis you don't have to do this but if you need more info you can it doesn't really matter that much and now when you've done that all you have to do is go to the fishing spot and there's a boat and then you will be at the Sapphire Lagoon. And all you have to do there, I'll, I'll show you guys. It's pretty easy. It's it's so, so stupid in the beginning because you have to do emotes and shit to eventually go down the trap door, blah, 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 blah. So it's pretty easy when you know everything. But of course there are no guides. That's why I'm making this one. So it helps people out, I hope. So, see, yeah, there are not much people here. A lot of people already figured out how to do it. I had to figure it out myself first, how to do it first, because else it's going to be a mess. So what you do is you have to clean these walls. And what the fuck am I going? Okay. So you see that there is difference, like there's like a, a shade on it. So you see instantly where you don't have to. What's it called? You don't have to remember these numbers. It doesn't really matter. And it's pretty easy when you get it down. And then you have to search these books. Yeah, you just have to clean the walls. Only four of them. Just search these sofa, search the books. You should have a, I think you should get a book soon. What you have to do is you have to use this gem on the window. I have to, I have to get a bucket of the water. Hopefully there are. Nope, no buckets of water. It's it's a lot of running. Like I would really recommend bringing like at least ten stamina's. Of course, I'm an Iron Man, so I can't. I don't have the herb level to do. But yeah, we have to do it like this. So you pick a bucket, put it on the well. A bucket of water. Water. Fucking oblivion memories. There's so much people just messing around here. There was this one guy who was saying, Oh, I know it, I know it. And he didn't even know it. So, What you do is, yeah, you put that gem on the window. Then you use a bucket of water on the moonlit wall. And you'll see number A. Alright, that's done. And just, yeah, I think you have to search everything here. That's what I did at least. I don't think you have to. But you should get a book soon. Uh, I don't know if when you get, I think you have to search the bookcase first and see what it gives you. Oh yeah, wait, can you? There you go. This is not necessary. I think there's, you have to search the books. I think this one. Are you serious? Can I just? I, you have to get this one book. It's so dumb. Just give me it. Finally, bro. What the fuck? Why doesn't he give you there? So I have to. Um, 
use this book on the shelves gives you a little L I think that's everything then you have to do the clap emotes and you're fine and then you basically have to go downstairs and you will see Jarvis and then you have to talk to him and he will basically fall asleep or something and then you have to throw a bucket of water in his face and yeah that's a lot of running it's kind of annoying so make sure you cannot have two buckets of water I already tested that so just talk to him skip to the dialogue he's basically spazzing out I don't know then you have to throw a bucket of water in his face so you have to run all the way over there I'll be back when I get the buckets of water it's it's kind of annoying walking all the time so I'll be back I'm back with the bucket of water just use it on Jarvis you have to do this two times it's really annoying I think Jax did this on purpose just to make this event longer because he will basically fall asleep again now and you have to get a new bucket of water and there's no well here or a fucking kitchen so you have to get a new bucket of water and it's really nice because I don't have runner energy and I don't have graceful either so but yeah basically after you throw the two buckets of water in his face he will tell you that you have to do talk to Treyborn in the wizard's tower and basically I made a mistake on my main I teleported to Draenor village and I talked to Treyborn and he would not give me that dialogue you basically have to take the boat back and the boat will instantly go to the wizard's tower and then you will get the dialogue so that's really annoying don't make that mistake just take the boat and you will instantly bring you to to the wizard sour so basically what you do you throw the bucket of water on Jarvis you script to the dialogue and come on okay um, these are five different questions you can answer or I mean five different answers you have to do underwater else he will tell you oh no he, he will go away from there etc so so you have to go to the boat now I'll be back uh, it's kind of annoying that I have to walk all the time sorry guys okay back at the boat then you click wizard sour and this one is pretty easy as well it's just annoying that you have to do emotes to like it's like a riddle but yeah, it's a, it's a pretty long event. It's one of the longest one I've ever done. So, um, can you tell me how I trap someone forever? And then he will give you another scroll, I think, with three different things on it. So, they, he says spins, handy gob or whatever, and worthless. So basically what you have to do is, you get a scroll with the things he said. You have to do a spin. A headbang and do the blow guest emote and then he will talk to you and then you basically done that and he will give you a bubble time bubble where you have to trap uh, Yona, Jonas in and now you have to go back to um, to the sapphire lagoon talk to Jarvis or Jarvis I mean but he will not be at that spot anymore. He basically is at the spot where you have to dive. So he will give you the diving apparatus and the, the helm. He's basically here now. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to go dive and you have to trap Jonas in a, in a trap. So he will basically be trapped and cannot like, I don't know how to say it. You, ba you basically have to trap him in a time, time bubble so he's uh, still uh, because you released him in the beginning that was wrong but that's the whole story around it so now he will tell you you will basically tell him how to trap him and he will give you all the items you need it's a lot of running like I would 
if I had stamina, it would be so much easier. So now, if you have the equipment, you equip it, go down this anchor chain. I have to fuck you. Okay. Oh my god, you have to bank it. It's so annoying, bro. What the fuck. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So now he will talk to you. You have to lure Jonas, etc. And this one's really. It's like a puzzle. It's kind of annoying, but um, if you don't, if you cannot find it or the spot where you have to stand, basically it will give you like an arrow on the mini map that will help you where you have to stand, and you have to do it in. Mo you, I I just did the spinning mode to lure him, because if you enter this, you will go in the cutscene, and Jonas will appear, and there he is, and basically. I don't know if the arrow will be there and basically what you have to do is you have to do a spin emote and you run away from it because if you get hit three times you will be up in the surface again and then you have to do this again well the first one this one it will be it will start over again it doesn't really restart but the second part like over there it will restart so you see these red things I don't know what to call it it's cor is a coral yeah coral so basically you have to lure him, you have to do the emote, run away instantly. It, it's in the beginning it's kinda annoying because I did not know what to do with, how to do it. But it's pretty easy when you get it down. I was struggling struggling so much with this. So now you have to stand here. Wait, here? And you run away because you don't want to wanna get hit by that. It's pretty easy when you get it down. So now you have to Always go to the coral, always. Okay, don't run back, don't run back. Basically cancelled my attack, my, um, not my attack, my animation. So now you run. It's pretty easy. Like, in the beginning I was, I was struggling hardcore with this. But now, you have to go. It will always hit in one direction. So, if I stand here, it should hit me. Because it will like be in one line, I would say. At least it should hit me. Yeah, there we go. And then you have to go like you see that line, that one. You have to go over there. So now you have to stand. That's so I have to train my agility on that account. It's so annoying. Oh, you can also do other emotes. That's nice. So now you will open this route. So you will spawn here. And you have to go here, emote, run, or walk. This is actually one of the longest events I've ever done. Ever done. Event, event, whatever. I think I'm not on the wrong. Am I? I think it's here. Or I'm oh no 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 never mind, fuck me I'm stupid. You have to go all the way over here because it will that will be in one line with him and and this coral. Forgot that. Ah. So now you do emote and you run. You see the spear coming here. And now I have to stand here. And now basically it will be in one line with this, with that one. Emote, run. That's very nice. And I think, what, what was this one again? I think it was this one. Yes, there we go. Now we should teleport here. And then you have to go over here. You don't want to get hit by that because if you if you fail this three times, you get fucked in the ass. All right, and now you have to stand here. You run, and you have to go all the way over here again, like that part. It's like a puzzle. It's it's. It's in the beginning I thought I was like doing this and I was like what the fuck am I supposed to do here? But it's fairly easy when you get it down. Now 
Wait, what was this one again? Was it this one? Yes. Fucking knew it, bro. And now it's this one, because that's, that's on one line, basically. And then you have to stand on this tile, I think so. Yes. You can also do it here, I think, but it doesn't really matter. Now you do this one. Don't want to get hit? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, I only get hit once. It's, it doesn't matter. But you don't want to get hit because it basically will not will not teleport him. So it's kind of annoying. But now it gets easier. Now you have to go all the way over here because that is in one line with this one. I hope this is the spot. Yes, should be. Yes, let's go. And then all you have to do is stand here. And he'll basically be in that trap. And then you have to use the time bubble on him. And he will be trapped forever again. And then you're basically done with this event. All you have to do is talk to Grim Reaper and he will give you your rewards. And the rewards are blue skin color and... Um, what's, it, what's a mask called again? I forgot what the mask is called. Basically his mask. I forgot what was it was it uh, what it was. Wait. Oh yeah, you have to use the bubble on him. Jarvis is not dead, I think. <laughs> Look at them. Bowing down. Alright. That's done. And you get this Jonah's mask of Jonah's basically. And I'll be I'll meet you guys back in Lumbridge. When you are back at Lumbridge, all you have to do is talk to Grim Reaper and he will give you the mask and you can also wear the mask after that. He will also give you two party headsets and two pumpkins and a blue skin color. And if you don't have the other rewards yet, like I did, I get it now. So basically you get this mask and if you don't have the See, I did not have the emotes, and he will give you that now. And you also get zombie blue skin color, which is pretty nice. I did not have the black, white, and green skin from the other events, so I got those now. And deadly mansion wall kit, so that's pretty cool. Alright, guys, this was my um, guide on how to do the Halloween event from 2017 Old Screenscape. Hope you enjoyed, hope hope it helped out, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later, thank you for watching.